We are here at the Midwest LSA Expo, the biggest little air show west of Oshkosh. We've got something kind of special for you today because this is new in the business. I'm talking today with Pete Karate. I'm Dan Johnson, and today we're going to talk about the 750 that we already know from uh, Zenith aircraft. They make this as a kit and you can buy that, have been able to buy it for a long time. I got a chance to fly in this very airplane and now what's the new thing? There's a new company, I mean your name tag here says Pete Karate from Jabiru USA but you got another hat to wear now. Yeah I do. Um, we created a company to uh, license and then build the Zenith 750 as a light sport airplane, an SLSA or ELSA airplane. Uh, we've been supplying engines and firewall forward kits for Zenith 750 builders for uh, three years now at least, uh, somewhere between uh, 70 or 80, I think. Uh, you got that many of them out already and with the Jabiru? Oh, yeah. Are they all using the 3300? Yeah, they're all using the 3300. that works well with the short yes. takeoff concept. Yes. Yeah, we developed a firewall forward kit for it and we put it on Zenith's former demonstrator airplane, um, I think about uh, 10 days before Oshkosh in 2009. Okay. Uh, and then it's going on from there. And the majority of the 750s that are flying and are under construction are set up and will be using the Jabiru engine. Is that right? So it's kind yeah. of a natural thing. So in a sense, when you say firewall forward, for those that don't understand what that means, uh, literally the firewall of the aircraft and everything forward of that, the motor mount, the exhaust system, yeah. The propeller, engine, of course, the propeller, the cowls, oil cooling system, car heat system, oil recovery system, fuel system from the firewall forward, battery box, <laughs> uh, pretty much everything ahead of the firewall. So you've already been making this much yes. of the airplane, as yes. it says. Now you're just buying the rest of it and sticking it on there. Right. And right. Uh, you've got a kit operation already because what you do down in uh, uh, Shelbyville, Tennessee, where I just visited a little while ago, uh, you already bring in the Jabiru airplane as a kit and assemble it. So this is a practice you've already got down. Yes, yes. Uh, we do virtually the same thing with Jabiru. We license the right to build this airplane as a special light sport, uh, just as we're licensing the uh, 750 from Zenair. So it's, uh, I don't want to say it's easy to do, but we have existing quality control programs You've got personnel that already know it. Yeah, we have continuing operational safety monitoring programs that are required for light sport. Uh, we know how to create the documentation that uh, will be compliant with the ASTM standards. And in fact, Zenith has already done most of that. Um, They've done on, all the wing testing and a lot of yeah, that other stuff that uh, you could just rely on. That. Yeah, one of their companies, AMD, did produce this as a light sport airplane with a Continental engine. Uh, they ceased operations several years ago, so the the certification data, so to speak, is still there. It exists. We don't have to do that all over again. So we're able to uh, uh, do some documentation on the firewall forward. The engine already carries an ASTM uh, compliance uh, certificate. So uh, a little work with flight testing and then uh, creating the correct compliant pilot operating handbook and maintenance manual. Those are two of the biggest tasks we have to do. The rest of the systems, since we do manufacture already two lines of flight sport airplanes, um, we have those systems in place already. So you're kind of well versed on the process that it takes here, but let's clarify. You've been able to buy this airplane well, previously as the 701, which you can still buy from Zenith Aircraft. You've been able to buy the 750 with its larger cockpit and bubble doors and, and now the big engine on it that gives it such impressive performance as a short takeoff and landing. You've been able to do all that as a kit, and it's a nice kit, and they've got it down very well, and lots of people have built them, but not everybody wants to build. So the opportunity to get this as a special light sport aircraft ready to fly, uh, that's, a, that's a special opportunity. And on top of that, you've got a very attractive price on this. What's the first first few buyers that come and take one from you, what are they gonna get as an opportunity? Well, they're gonna get the, the basic Zenith 750 airplane with a Jabiru engine, a wooden propeller. They're going to get uh, basic instrumentation, airspeed, altimeter, vertical speed, a skid ball. It'll have a Garmin SL40 radio in it and a good PM uh, 1000 PS Engineering intercom. 
and uh, not much else. It have an EIS engine monitor from Grand Rapids Technologies. What else do you need uh, it's a, to have a nice a time basic airplane. airplane? Yeah, if you want to put some more stuff in it, you're willing to yeah. do that for them, yeah, right? Yeah, we will be able to offer a Grand Rapids uh, glass panel EFIS complete with synthetic vision. Uh, <laughs> we can put a transponder in there. Uh, we can go farther right on through an autopilot if somebody wants one. Um, we're set up and we've done a number of installations of the Navworks ADSB receiver, uh, ADSB in and out, so that you have traffic and weather uh, without any weather subscription. It's free. Yeah, it's uh, a great new opportunity. So we know that. how to do that, and if somebody wants it, it's easy enough for us to include it in this airplane. And you've already got experience doing all of that stuff you just yes. described because you're already yeah. doing it on your other airplanes. That's you've correct. Probably got components in stock and so forth. Yes. So how far along in the process are we? For example, you take an order here at the show. How long before that person can actually have? And an you airplane did do that. You got one right here at the yes, Midwest, we, right? Yes, we did take another order here at the right. show. The uh, the whole process. Um, we are about ready to apply for our the first step in the certification process, and that's an uh, experimental R&D permit. It allows you to go fly it around yes, and learn and, some and more Hopefully, stuff we'll have that next week. Um, then we will need to fly it and document flight characteristics, and uh, there's a whole list of things in the ASTM standard that we have to document that this airplane will do in in flight. You know, so that you can prepare the yeah. uh, pilot's operating handbook and be right. able to be not so that somebody gets this yeah. thing from it because they didn't have to build it and, now. You know, the performance specification, yeah, the ASTM performance specification covers things like uh, the aircraft has to show a tendency to return to coordinated flight once the roll input from the slip is released. Okay, so you got to go test that. And, and you got to we'll, document that yeah. and uh, have a piece Write of your paper report that and uh, pass yeah. fail, you know. So we'll be doing that next week. Uh, I don't think it'll take us too long to do that. We have a number of pilots just itching to fly this airplane and uh, and document some of that stuff. We're hoping that... I'm sure that's no arm twist there to get yeah. that done, but but it's still it's still quite a work effort. It's not yes. just going up and having the yes. joy of flight. You got to do paperwork and all the rest of it. So what's it translate to? Wouldn't you, will you be ready before the end of the year? Uh, I hope to get our SLSA certificate the following week. So this is the near term, fall yes. of 2012. Yes. You'll be able to uh, actually make a delivery of an airplane shortly thereafter. Okay, we we could deliver this first airplane we're building, but our plans are to keep that for a demo airplane. Uh, once we get our LSA certificate, then, uh, and we'll total up our orders, our components come from Zenair in Canada. Ah, okay. Because that's where they keep all the records for material certifications and I see. Okay. dates of acceptance and so forth that's required for ASTM. Uh, Zenith in Missouri does some of that, but, but the true uh, uh, compliance has to come from Canada. So um, we will, uh, on about October 1st, total up the orders we have and we'll order that bunch of components from Zenair. We'll have it very shortly thereafter and we'll start manufacturing, um, we're thinking mid-October, with the first airplane about six weeks beyond six weeks that. Out. So, so before the end of the year, you're going to put the first, first of, airplanes in people's hands. Yes, around the 1st of December would be our thought. And then an airplane about every 10 to 12 days after that. Excellent. Well, I think we ought to go have a look inside this airplane a little bit and get another view of what the 750 is really going to be like. Of course, we don't want to pull the hood off here because uh, they're going to go out and do some more demo flying. They've been doing a lot of it. and uh, But underneath this, we've seen in other videos the 3300 Jabru. That's the 120 horsepower, six-cylinder engine. And what is the total weight of that engine? Well, the uh, 3300 weighs 181 pounds complete with the muffler, starter, alternator, all the accessories. I did get to fly with uh, Roger Dupert, the uh, very qualified pilot who flies this, and it was just a joy. And of course, it does the whole short field and takeoff and landing thing that you expect, but it's so roomy inside. This is going to fit a lot of Americans who enjoy their hamburgers. Yeah. So let's what? put two American hamburger eaters into this <laughs> airplane and see what we've got. Let's try that. All right. We have got two big beefy guys in there, and it doesn't look like there's any crampness there. You guys have got no, we're not. Room. We're not even touching. No. So. Uh, it didn't take a shoehorn either. It's actually 
entry into, there's always a technique getting into any airplane, then this one of course is the same. But uh, once you've got a little bit of technique, a high wing airplane is particularly easy to do. So, because you basically turn around, sit down, and then pull the rest to yourself in the airplane. But once you're in this thing with these big bubble doors, which are all clear, I mean, the visibility in here is quite tremendous and upward because we've got a skylight above us, uh, there, there's almost no blockage to being able to see whatever you want to see in here. Now this particular one's got uh, quite a panel in it. This has the Dynon sky view with that, uh, which can have synthetic vision as you mentioned earlier, Pete, meaning you can mm -hmm. see what you, even if you can't see, you can still see what's ahead of you. Uh, understanding that the $75,000 airplane's not going to have all this stuff in it, but it's got what you need to go have a good time and for not too much more money, you could have it just like this one. And you're going to be able to offer that in whatever way the customer wants it. This airplane actually even has an autopilot in it. Does it really? Yes. <laughs> well, this airplane I know with this engine is uh, probably got a takeoff roll of somewhere in the neighborhood of 150, 200 feet, something like that. Well, uh, if I remember the numbers that we have for our POH, and it's based on this airplane, we'll refine those when we do our own testing. Uh, it's uh, what 360, 70 feet over a 50 foot obstacle. Okay, that's over an obstacle then. So that'll get you out of a very short field quite easily. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course the, the landing is equally that way. And that has to do with these uh, slots up here on the front of the wing that allow so much air to flow in a controlled manner that the uh, air sort of hugs the top of the wing better. And well, that's the whole short takeoff and landing that has made this particular airplane a real delicious uh, choice. So we've given a lot of information here, Pete. Where are we going to go to get more about the new company, Ten Air? Well, the website is tenair.com, and that's T-E-N-N-A-I-R.com. And all the information is on there, the initial price sheet. Um, we'll have a whole lot more information shortly when our first airplane flies. And you'll get pictures, and your webmaster will put all that stuff up. And then later this year, in 2012, we're going to start seeing the first deliveries of this airplane. I've gotten a chance to fly this particular airplane, the one we're in, which has the exact configuration that 10 Air will be producing at the Zenith Aircraft Facility. It was a real joy. You can find more about that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for watching today.